Hey, Lee here, and I'm not dead. I just had a ton of nerve damage. But nuts to that, let's review some games. Previously on Still Gaming, I reviewed a great Xbox Live Arcade title called Arkito 003 Pixel. Arkito was a company that had an ambitious plan of releasing one brand spanking new game each and every month. You know how many games they released? Three! Oh well. However, there is some good news. For those of you that only own a PlayStation 3, Sunuk Games ported all three games in the series over to the PlayStation Network sometime in 2011. Today we've got a review of Arkito 02, SWAP! Arkito Swap is a puzzle game where you have to, well, swap blocks horizontally or vertically to make four in a row. I've been told this game is similar to a series I've never really played before called Puzzle League, which many of you may be familiar with in the games Tetris Attack, Pokemon Puzzle League, and Planet Puzzle League. The main adventure type mode is called Castle Mode, where the hero, a kitty king, wakes up with a hangover on the beach. That's a bad kitty, bad kitty. Your mission is to help the cat stumble back to the castle by swapping blocks or something. Whatever. There's five stages, each more challenging than the last. At first, these stages may take a while as you're just starting to get used to clearing the blocks at a steady pace. However, if you can get a big enough combo going, you can beat any stage in just one carefully planned move. After you beat castle mode, you unlock the challenge mode. This is where you'll learn how to get major points through combos and utilizing the treasures and lightning blocks. Oh, what's that? Stage 5? Hardest stage in the game? Arcade mode is pretty straightforward, with easy, normal, and hard modes. The more you score, the more items you unlock to use, though sometimes you unlock one extra color block which actually makes things quite a bit more difficult. Out of the three Arcado games, Swap is definitely the one I've played the most, putting in at least double digit hours on it. That's not bad value for $3. If you've got a 360 or a PlayStation 3, and even if you don't much care for puzzle games, you should still give this game a go. This is Lee, signing off for Still Gaming.